Now, the Varnam is a very important compositional form because it is expected and uh, many traditional Varnams do fulfill this expectation that a Varnam should encapsulate all the major features of that raga. So, a, a Varnam in Saveri or in Kalyani, it will incorporate all the major uh, features of that particular raga. So, for instance, this is very uh, characteristic of Saveri. So, this actually uh, gives a very uh, clear blueprint of the raga as it were. How the raga, how the swaras are formed into phrases, which note is emphasized, which is shaken and how. So, the varnam is, offers a, a blueprint of the raga as it were. So, it has, so teachers emphasize the necessity of need of learning and internalizing many varnams in order to gain mastery over Carnatic music. So, we have on the one hand uh, uh, the importance of varnam because uh, it uh, showcases the raga in a succinct and a fairly exhaustive way. On the other hand, it is also important from the point of view of laya, of thala. Um, the, the avarnam, the traditional varnams are composed in such a way that we have uh, patterns of fours and threes and fives. If you remember, we spoke about the jatis, right? Uh, we have, we can have a pattern of four we can have a pattern of 3 or 5. Now, a varnam, uh, the composition as such, brings together many of these, all these uh, patterns in a in aesthetic way. For instance, mm, uh, this is, so far it is 4. Ta, 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 ta. These are all fours. So far, it's all fours. So suddenly, it goes into threes. So, so this is uh, trees so this is how um, uh, these patterns are interwoven, whereas the lyrics are also uh, brought together with such patterns. And Carnatic music, the texture of Carnatic music is such that uh, it is filled with these patterns. There is a tightness to the structure of, to the texture of Carnatic music. Um, you have very little relaxing of the laya, of the tala. So, if you have it has to go in that tempo, all the words, the notes have to fall accurately and precisely where they are supposed to fall. Now, this is for instance, if you take a look at um, Khayal, Hindustani music, 
it's a it's a very different musical form because that kind of tightness is not there in hindustan music if you have to sing a khayal there is a, a certain amount of laxity of freedom there you can call it laxity or you can call it freedom of how uh, the words and the tala are uh, woven together how the two are juxtaposed here in carnatic music there is a tightness and varnam learning a varnam the proper way gives you a good grounding in how that texture can be brought out speaking of a uh, tala most varnams tana varnams you find predominantly they are in adi talam there are also very important and very some very great varnams composed in atta talam atta talam is one of the sula di sapta talas atta tala khanda nada khanda jati atta tala so atta tala will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 this is also a tala that is used in uh, varnams and uh, we have some great traditional varnams in atta tala now uh, an interesting feature of atta tala varnams is that the edup where the composition starts is always here there is one two on the third matra atta tala varnams always start on the third matra and uh, that that edup is maintained now uh, varnams are um, are compositions that offer great scope for um, of course for realizing a raga's potential but it, 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 there are some varnams which are also which also have some very interesting and uh, challenging uh, swara patterns for instance this <coughs> this in kalyani so this pattern in this is a swara in a kalyani varnam in atta talam mm, you see how the swaras jump there is a lot of uh, movement in this varnam and it it's a very good varnam to practice magani da magada magari magari nida kari magali da ga ma pada ni sa da magada ga pa ma ni da sa ni sa da ni ri ni da ma da magari ni ri ni sa da ni sa ri ga ma pada ni chi ro no so this is a charana swara or etukara swara which uh, is there in this adatala varnam in kalyani and no talk of varnams can be complete without referring to without mentioning um the adatala varnam in bairavi now this is a composition of pachimiren adiyappa who was a court poet in the maratha um maratha ruler in punjab in the 18th century he was in fact uh, the guru of one of the carnatic kings of shama shastri and this varnam um, it starts in a very sedate way and it builds up in a very beautiful way and a rendition of this composition is here you may listen to it Mm-hmm. 
This is the Pallavi of the composition. The rest of it you can hear in this link. Now, Avarnam, there is a certain way of presenting Avarnam uh, in concerts that is quite unique to the Varnam. No other composition is presented the way the Varnam is. And uh, he, the presentation fully showcases the two parts of the Varnam. So, a typical presentation of a Varnam will follow this way. The first the Pallavi is sung, then the Anupallavi. That is normally together they make about four lines of four avartanas of the composition and then the, the Muktai Swaram is sung. After which you go back to the Pallavi and sing it at twice the speed. And then come back, finish the entire thing, finish the entire Purvangam and then come back to the Pallavi and go back to the original speed. And then you, the Charanam is normally sung at a, at a very different unrelated speed or very often, but it is usually at a much faster speed and the Charanam Swaras, Charana Swaras or the Yetigada Swaras are sung and the Charanam line is repeated after each of the Yetigada Swaras. Now actually um, traditionally there was another, the, for many of the Varnams traditionally there is a another Sahitya line or text that uh, follows all the Yetigada Swaras and that kind of provides a link back to the uh, Charanam line or sometimes even the Pallavi line. But uh, these days the way in contemporary Carnatic music, uh, the Anubandhas are almost always not heard. So to demo, sometimes what happens uh, as a, an interesting exercise, the Tishra Nadai is also performed in Varnams. Let me just demonstrate a bit. Mm. Uh, so, Tishra Nadi is, uh, so suppose it is uh, the same Varnam I will take, it is Sarasuda. Sarasuda. This is the first speed. The second speed will be Sarasuda. So, two avartanas of the composition will fit into a single avartana of the tara. So, what in the first speed took two avartanas to sing, we'll, we will sing it in one avartana in, in the second speed. What happens in Tishra Nade is so three lines of the text will be fitted into two avartanas. What is happening is actually um, threes are fitted into the what happens 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, instead of that 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, instead of that this is what is um, happening when you do Tishranade. So the, the song, the composition remains the same, but we are fitting only three units into each matra. So where it is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We are fitting 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So the laya remains the same, the tempo remains the same, the song also remains the same. There is no uh, 
tampering with the song. It is not that a syllable is elongated here or shortened there. The song is also intact. The avartana is intact. The tempo is intact. But how the words are distributed within each matra, that is different. So this is actually what we are doing is Tishna Nade, Tishna Gati. We are doing a Tishnam of the Varna. This is something that we, uh, that in fact was also part of uh, Drupad practice. Drupad is uh, a North Indian style of music and uh, what is called Tigun. It's called Tigun in Drupad and uh, traditionally the Drupad composition was supposed to be rendered in Dugun twice the speed, Tigun thrice the speed and Chaogun four, four times the speed, the original speed. Now that was part of the presentation of Drupad. Uh, no, no, nobody uh, presents it like that these days. Perhaps audiences have no taste for um, rhythmic uh, excitement. But in Carnatic music, we um, even in Carnatic music, actually, Tishram and all are more or less uh, very rarely heard. And uh, this Tishram also has a place in another kind of presentation called Ragam Tanam Pallavi, which you will see when we come to it. But um, a Varnam presentation, a Varnam presentation is essentially follows this way that Pallavi and Nupallavi are sung and then the Swaras are sung and then that whole Purvangam is repeated at twice the speed, sometimes the Tishtam is also performed. And then we go to the Charanam, that is Uttarangam and the Swaras are sung. Sometimes we even uh, perform a few Manodharma or uh, Kalpana Swarams in Varnam. As a rule, Manodharma elements do not uh, do not find a place in Varnam as a rule. But uh, Varnams do offer scope for especially Kalpana Swarams. Um, and uh, we will now listen to a presentation of a, a traditional Varnam in Riti Gaulai. This is an Atatadam. And uh, the musicians are Ramakrishnan Murthy on the vocal. R. K. Shri Ram Kumar playing the violin, Arun Prakash playing the Pradangam and Aniruddha Atreya playing the Kanjira. So please listen to Ms. Varna. <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Pada papa magerisa gaga maga ma pada papa maga ma pa mageri gama mira maga ma mageri diga gari sani pani sani gari gama pada papa magerisa gaga maga ma mira ma
ni ni sa ga ga ma sa ga ga ma ni da ma ni ni sa sa ga ni da ma ma ga ni ni da ma ga ni sa ni ga ni ni di ge. Eh, 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 eh.